There's our target. Travis, huh? Mm. We hit the beaches yesterday. General Clark sent me and my men up here to mock those 88s for destruction. He's got Warhawks ready and waiting to do a flyby. You airborne guys sure know how to fight. Care to join us? Fire in the hole! I guarantee you, it'll be a blast. Let's move out!
Township!
Scott Webb, Commanding Officer. This is the After Action Report for Operation Avalanche, September 13th, 1943. Airborne troops assembled and were en route within 45 minutes. Landed on enemy staging area. Dismantled fuel depot and combo center, liquidated materiel, and assisted in the destruction of enemy long-range artillery. Operation deemed a success. Rome is within reach. Germans retreating to the north. Guess it's time to brush up on our French. Thirty minutes ago, 6,000 British and American ships left ports in England bound for France. This is Normandy, the Allies' next step in liberating Europe. At 0600 hours, General Barton's men are going to hit the beach in small craft with no cover. Their survival depends on you. The Navy cannot supply fire support for the beach landing until a German battery of shore guns has been neutralized. The guns receive firing coordinates from an inland fortifications network. We must cripple enemy communications by destroying this key radar antenna. We must also disable this spotting tower. We take out the enemy's eyes and ears. They got no chance. S2 and S3 predict we'll encounter enemy armor in this operation. To that end, we're dropping M18 bundles near the DZ. Airborne, you are about to play a pivotal role in the downfall of Nazi oppression. Good luck.
Technicians upstairs! 